we have a we have a little boy, man. We uh, so excited about it. It's a little blessing, man. There he is, right there. It's little my son, right there. Yeah, yeah it's awesome, man. We, uh, he's two years old, almost two and a half. My my wife says now that we need a daughter, and I'm like, oh no, we don't. I can't imagine my wife having a backup bitch. Like a little her following her around the house. You're right, he doesn't do anything around her. <laughs> With a big FedEx box and a little FedEx box out there. <laughs> the best part, when my, when my son started to talk, his first word was daddy, and I was so happy. And then my wife got excited, she was, oh, he's gonna say mommy next. He calls her babe, it's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing funnier than, than my two-year-old walking around the house going, babe. <laughs> Paw Patrol, babe. <laughs> if that doesn't work, he uses her real name. Renee! <laughs> I got poop. <laughs> it's the best. But now that he talks, man, he says things to my wife that I can't believe he gets away with. So my wife's telling me a story, right? My son is sitting on her lap facing her, okay? Halfway through my wife's story, my son takes his little hand and he puts it on her lips and he said, babe, stop talking. <laughs> I was so proud. I was... <laughs> so finally, somebody said it. I was like, wait a minute, I think my son's a mind reader. <laughs> my wife, she looked at me like, do something. And I was like, <laughs> But that went from that to, oh, no. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I love my wife, but her stories suck. They take forever. There's no punchlines. So she'll go off on a tangent that has nothing to do with the original story. It's the worst. It took her two minutes the other day to tell me that she went to Chick-fil-A, and it was good. She came home all excited. Oh my God, I went to Chick-fil-A, it was so good. But first of all, let me tell you, I was in the car and I was driving and I was like, oh my God, I wanted to go to Chick-fil-A because I was so hungry because I've been on that diet. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, I deserve it. I've been so good to myself. And I saw a Chick-fil-A and I was like, oh my God, God wants me to have a Chick-fil-A. So I went ahead and I pulled into that Chick-fil-A, but it was closed. And I was like, oh my God, why is it closed? It's not Sunday. Because you know me, I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays and they're closed. And I don't know why I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays, but I do and they're always closed. But it wasn't Sunday, it was Saturday. And I was like, why are they closed? It was a new Chick-fil-A. It's not even open yet. So I was like, well, forget it. I guess I'm not going to have Chick-fil-A. So I got in the car and I was like, you know what? God does not want me to have Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go ahead and stick to my diet. And then I saw another Chick-fil-A and I was like, oh my God, God does want me to have Chick-fil-A. So I went ahead and pulled into that Chick-fil-A and the girl that was taking my order, oh my God, she had like the cutest little earrings. They were like little Christmas trees. And I was like, oh my God, where did you get those? And she said Hobby Lobby, but there's no way that she got them at Hobby Lobby because I was just at Hobby Lobby and they don't sell earrings at Hobby Lobby. I mean, maybe they sold her the stuff to make them. I mean, you can make them at Hobby Lobby, but she didn't buy them at Hobby Lobby. So anyway... It was good. <laughs>